Warning, if the video, title, and description went over your head, let me be really clear on what you're about to watch. This is a backyard hunting video, which helps keep the population of pests under control. The bonus, some of these guys actually taste pretty dang good. If hunting and pest control offend you, don't watch, simple. So with that behind us, let's get on with the video. If you've ever visited a dairy farm, you'll know pigeons are a huge problem. They cost farmers hundreds of thousands of dollars in feed and spread disease and additional property damage. The scope of this problem, however, most don't understand. So in this series, we're going to show just that and how perfect the egg unless she is suited as a tool in the fight against this massive pigeon populations congregating at dairy farms. So. Welcome to the Pigeon Palace, a western Arizona dairy farm home to an estimated 20,000 pigeons. Egon Leshy presents Hunting the Pigeon Palace. If you're a longtime fan of this channel, you know almost every story I tell you guys is based within my yard. Uh, it's a never-ending battle that's been well documented for the past two plus years on this channel. Today, however, is going to be a little bit different. I was out west helping my in-laws uh, with their house, and I got the opportunity to take a couple days to venture east to a farm where my good friend Brian has permission to help against this battle this farmer has with thousands of of pigeons and I've never seen anything like it. This is going to be a new series on this channel as I have about a hundred gigs of footage just from this one day alone. So there are four of us actually walking around uh, this farm sharing two egg unless she twos. One in a 250 millimeter 30 cal with a 6x fixed doll stalker on top and the second in the 350 millimeter 25 cal with the uh, Delta Striker 4.5 by 30. And both of us were using the Tacticam uh, FTS scope cam system, which worked great. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the uh, reticle out of the Delta Striker, meaning we're shooting the 25 cal. And this one's about 50 yards. And for the 25 cal, we're shooting 34 grain uh, JSBs. Man, just absolutely <laughs> destroyed that thing. Here's the first one of the day with the Dirty 30. This is about 70 yards. Watch a 50 grain JSB track and remove old Petey's head here. Basically every time we shot, hundreds or maybe even a thousand uh, birds would just go flying through the air. As you'll see here, uh, come right into the frame. They're just, they come out of nowhere. Uh, they would land on the next roof, and then we would just walk down, rinse, and repeat. We did this for hours. This one was a gnarly one. Uh, it dropped right into the cows just off camera. This is what I was talking about earlier. Watch all these birds go flying after this guy just gets anchored right here. I have never seen so many pigeons in one place in my life. It was crazy. Let me just take a quick break from the pigeon smashing to thank today's video sponsor, Olight. I'm an EDC nut. Uh, flashlights being a big part of that obsession. Uh, they have a huge Christmas sale going on right now with up to 45% off the lights that you're seeing here and some other ones as well. So I'm going to throw a link in the description to go check them out. Uh, one of my favorites, though, is this Leshy Red Odin. Uh, it packs a punch with 2,000 lumens, uh, but it comes with this quick release Picatinny mount uh, and pressure switch, which is awesome. So I have the black switch on here. 
But uh, if you snag one, the color uh, will match your choice of either red or I think there's a gunmetal gray uh, on sale as well. And this is the full size Odin. I also have the mini one uh, as well. It locks in place with a simple push uh, and then the whole light can just pop off uh, for charging or if you just want to use it uh, without the gun, you can do so as well. So I've got the pressure switch uh, mounted right where my hand is, so it, like my offhand, so it's making it just perfect for my needs. If I'm sneaking around the yard, I want to go catch up on something. I'm just a raccoon, just make sure it's dead, whatever. Uh, one thing that's cool about this new switch, though, it's universal with their new tail switch lights, uh, like this guy, the Warrior X Turbo. This light is a thousand lumens, so which don't get me wrong, uh, is perfectly bright. All right, in the context of lights, it's very bright. But uh, let me show you the feature that really blew me away. Check this out. It's a thousand meter throw. <laughs> Holy hell, this is insane. So if you're a predator hunting or uh, trying to retrieve something, this bad boy will reach out and touch someone. Uh, you can easily mount this onto a gun um, and use the same uh, tail switch as well. So that's what's pretty cool about it. So if you're in the market for a light, uh, go check out the sale for sure. Uh, it's a great one. Some huge deals uh, for you. I love these guys. I love their lights. And I'm super appreciative of the support of the channel. Uh, so making videos like this one possible. So speaking of which, let's get back to some pigeon pew pew. All right, I know I keep saying it, but the amount of pigeons in this place is extraordinary. And this it captures exactly what we are seeing basically on every little roof. Um, you'd think a shotgun would be more effective, but it's actually a big no-no uh, with the cattle. The cows are just spook. Uh, the air gun uh, is a perfect tool, and the egg gun like you too is just absolutely perfect for this place. Next time, though, I will actually want to bring uh, one that's tethered. So set up with a small bottle, like a backpack. Um, just throw it in a backpack and have it tethered directly to the Leshy 2 and just walk these rows just ripping pellets. This one was a little out of focus, but that's probably best for the YouTube police. Oh, man. That 30 just hits like a absolute brick. I mean, it just destroyed that thing. It's a pretty big farm, so we actually decided to give this one section a break and head over to the other side. When we got there, we got our first double. Uh, I want to hear in the comments, though, uh, before I show you the shot, what you think happened. We argued for hours over this in the car and how this went down. Was this a ricochet off a rock, or did it hit bone and deflect? Here we go. We got two flying rats down. Back to the roof we go. And this was a back-to-back -back shot, kind of taking advantage of the semi-auto lashy. The slow-mo makes it feel like there was a lot of time in between each, but this was a uh, pretty, pretty quick sequence here. And here's that second that happened uh, right after it, and I just dropped it in here right on the spine. It was a perfect little shot. Watch this. I was actually thinking this one was going to be a double, too. By the feathers, I wasn't sure uh, right after it flew, but it was a single. And it was a no-doubter on one. But you can see those other feathers, so I thought maybe it just clipped it or something. But that, that first one went down in a hurry. The wind actually wasn't too bad. Maybe a mill or two holds uh, for the most part. With pellets, that's pretty good. So this one was 97 yards. And watch as this pellet just drops in. Perfect. Boom. Anchored.
to give a little context, uh, we had some misses this day, and I'd say 99% of them was our buddy John. Uh, we all got a hunting buddy like this. So part of this series, I'm definitely going to do a special just for John and all his misses. So make sure to share this with your buddies and let them know they're not alone. I'm going to go. I have to go. I can't go to the wires. I got to go to the metal right here. I'm recording, John. Take him out. Missed. Damn it. How did I miss that? Always missing. Anyways, we didn't miss on this one. Check this guy out. Just gets evaporated. We couldn't uh, go and actually retrieve this one because it fell in this big mud puddle. Uh, but the damage the 34 grain put on this was pretty intense. Here's another one that was kind of high up, so you had that perfect blue background, and it just anchored it. Boom, straight down. The Tacticam streams right to the app on the phone really well, uh, and this is where having that second person watch the phone to help make sure things were in focus kind of really helped. Uh, we did this until the SD cards were full, and then we just went full Rambo for like fuller five hours afterwards. Boom. Just anchored that thing. They had these like irrigation pipes. I don't know if they held hoses or or they were old, but anyways, you could tell that that's what they were just from the rust. But uh, this guy landed quick, and it was in just such a perfect spot, so we just quickly kind of got ourselves a rest and let it fly. It's a little out of focus, but that's all right. You can see the pellet, and it just absolutely drills this thing. Here's another one about, uh, I think this is about 80 yards, 75, 80 yards or so. Uh, and the trajectory of the pellet is basically coming, not straight down, but it's a pretty steep angle at this point. So it just, another spine shot here and thing flies off, I don't know, it was about 10, 20 feet and then it just dropped off to the right. All right, we're gonna end volume one of the Pigeon Palace with this guy, and this was a no doubter. The pass through just goes right through this thing as it folds up and I drill a cow turd right behind it. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.